Hello, my name is Wendy Patrick, and this devotional is entitled, Living Missionally, Wherever You Are. It is another devotional that stems from our beloved verse, John 3.16, a verse that everybody knows. That's the verse that says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. So in thinking about this verse and what it means for us, do you interact with people who are lost, quote unquote, during the course of your day? In other words, they don't know the Lord. Many of us work in a profession with friends and coworkers who don't know Jesus. That's just an opportunity for you to be a positive influence and a light in the darkness. Now you never know, and we always want to point this out and remember this, you just never know who might be seeking the Lord. There's no outward indication often of this inner state. We joke that when we get to heaven, we're going to be surprised at who's there because we just can't tell. Now, you never know what's going on in someone's heart. Sure, we know we can, somebody is, has found the Lord. We, we expect to see fruit. But we also know there's a growing process. And one of the hardest parts of some, some of our jobs is working with people, working with their families, sometimes working with those that have terrible problems in their families. And we worry about their fate, their temporal fate and their eternal fate. Sometimes we hear people like this say there can't possibly be a God that would let something like this happen. I don't have any reason to believe in a God like that. Have you known people that have said that to you? Have you had someone make a statement like that to you in response to you attempting to share your faith? Well, if you're living in the world, as all of us are, you probably have. And as a Christian, however, you are in a unique position to bring a different perspective for people who think like this. And there's a lot of them. God may have actually put you in the position you're in to hear these things because he wants you to share Jesus with these people. So take a look, have a listen to the people that are around you. What are they doing? What are they saying? Especially people that don't yet know the Lord. Because remember to God, there are no such thing as lost causes. Now, by the way, some people that don't know the Lord on the outside may appear to be very successful by the world standards. Sometimes those are the people, those that are the most successful in life, that are the hardest nuts to crack because they argue wrongly, but they really believe this, some of them. They naively believe they have achieved all that they have on their own. So they ask you, why do they need God? Not realizing it is he who gave them everything they have. And if any of you have ever complained, who, which among us haven't, about your job, about your circumstances in life, or about the people around you, the people you have to deal with every day, the difficult people in your life, have you ever thought that maybe the Lord put you right where you are in your situation for a very important reason? Maybe these are the exact people with whom you're meant to share the gospel, whom you're meant to share the glory of his kingdom with. Maybe there's someone right in front of you, cubicle next to you. Anywhere you go, everywhere you go. There are people there that he may want you to speak to about his son. Can you imagine how your entire day would be different if you had this perspective? All of us, all of us would have an entirely different outlook at the beginning of our day. And we can, if we remember this. Suddenly, another monotonous day at the office, or whatever your routine is, would turn into an exciting opportunity to be a bright, shining light of Christ's love among your neighbors, your friends, your family, your coworkers. Now that doesn't mean that you come in wearing a Jesus Saves t-shirt and passing out tracks. Doesn't mean that at all. Remember the old saying, and it's one of my favorites, preach a great sermon, use words if necessary. Wearing that type of regalia is not necessary. All you have to do 
is follow the rules in the gospel. Love your neighbor as yourself. It's so simple. When you think about what an intentional mindset looks like regarding God's love for the world, and if you actually internalize that, it would dramatically change the way you naturally interact with everyone in your life during the day. You would be more inclined to intentionally love others, even those that cut you off in traffic or have an unkind word to say. We all have people like that in our lives. You'd also probably be the most popular one in your workplace. And great, even more so when other people find out you're a Christian. Under those circumstances, even the staunchest unbelievers might become curious about the inspiration in your life. So let us thank the Lord for reminding us of this, for reminding us of his love for the world, so that we might heighten our awareness and our appreciation for the people that he's placed around us. And we pray that he will help us to be attentive during the day to our surroundings in order to be a blessing to the people with whom we interact, so that we may be vehicles of his love for them. We also want to pray that we are continually reminded as we go about our busy days that we are called to be witnesses to all creation to the ends of the earth. That is our calling as Christians. And we remember all of this and we pray that we'll be reminded of all of this every day. In his name we pray.